One day some guy invited me to an open mic. I met him at like some girls party. Then I went there and I went up on stage and it was fun, I enjoyed it. There was like nobody there though. And like, it was just a shit show. But I was like, I, I would, what am I doing this you know, off times? And then I didn't do it again for like two years after that. And then I started doing it regularly like around 2014, I think. Totally stupid and dumb. I'm not even gonna lie. We went up there, it was like it was like in New York, this guy invited me. All the comics I was supposed to be on the show didn't show up. And it was just me, this other guy he invited that had never done it before, and like three audience members. And so he just went up back and forth on stage, going back and forth. And then it got to the point where the bartender was like, you guys just gotta stop and go and leave. And so we left with the guy that's supposed to be a headliner. And he's just like, ever since I started doing comedy, it just made me fucking crazier. And he just went on this long tirade about how much he hated it. And that was my first experience with stand-up comedy, just doing the show when no one was there. And, um, but I think it's kind of awesome because it's kind of made me be like, all right, this is what it's going to be like, so I'm get used to it. And then when shows are good, I appreciate it more. Dave Chappelle is the greatest. He's the absolute best. I'll say, for what it's worth, it's probably my favorite stand-up special that's ever been released. I love watching that shit. Like, I could probably watch it like a million times, from beginning to end. It's Dave Chappelle, Louis C.K., like literally everything he does. John Mulaney released one recently. That was really awesome. And uh, probably like Mitch Hedberg. And typically a blank. I don't really listen to a lot of comedy albums too much, or at least like, I, I probably have like three that are my most favorite, and then the most the rest are just ones that I like. Well, I like Seinfeld, that's my favorite. Seinfeld, Curb Your Enthusiasm, Parks and Recreation. I like Louie, the television show. I like comedies that are just like, it's a comedy, but it's not like, it's not like the Big Bang Theory, or there's no like soundtrack or, or, or laugh track I made. So something like that. Things that are typically more grounded and serious a little bit. Like Louis is great. There's a show brought to it. It's kind of silly, but that's fun. Um, just that kind of stuff, I guess. I, I watch like a lot of Saturday Night Live sometimes. I like Saturday Night Live. When it comes to films, I'm a huge fan of Woody Allen films because it's comedy, but the comedy isn't laid down so thick kind of thing. I, sometimes I like it where it's like the comedy is like subtle, but there's more of a story. And it's more of, you, you, can know, you, you can know that the guy could do some serious comedy jokes, but it's interested in developing the story, kind of. But stuff that's like more silly or whatever, I'd probably go with, I don't know, all the comedy that I like is pretty grounded in reality. It's no slapstick or outrageous shit. I would, I would say like Dave Chappelle, but Dave Chappelle is like the funniest comedian in the world, so that's like unrealistic. But I want to go with the person that I would like to open for. If, I, if that person blessed me, was like, hey, I like your stuff. You go on the road and I'll get you some gigs and get you paid. I'll probably go with, right now, Gerard Carmichael. This guy that's like coming up, he's got this TV show called The Carmichael Show. And his stand-up comedy is very conversational and easygoing, but he also like is kind of his, his topics are controversial, but it's like, he does it with like a wink, like he'll take a subject matter that a black comic would usually do, but he goes the other way with it that people aren't expecting. And he goes against the grain, and some people don't like it, but I don't think those people are like too dumb to realize that he's just like uh, winking at it, he's like, is it so crazy that I'm saying this? Like he'll be like, I wish I was a Republican so I could like spit in people's faces or just like knock their cereal down or some shit. And it's just like, it's a ridiculous thing to say. But he's saying it because, I don't know, I'd say Gerard Carmichael. Gerard Carmichael or Michael Shea. Patrice O'Neill, he's amazing. He's very amazing at crowd work. I'd pick Jeff Ross. I'd pick Big J Okerson. Um, who else to be roasted by? I'd probably pick Richard Pryor. And I hope I'm getting his name right. He was like, I think his name is Mooney. He was Richard Pryor's writer and he performed at the Chappelle show. I 
like to start with writing tiny sketches that start off like really jokey, and then after that, probably start writing sketches that are a little bit more serious, and then probably start writing TV scripts, comedy TV scripts. But then, talk, comedy TV scripts are in the vein of like Louis or like something like Woody Allen does, or something that like Coen Brothers kind of do comedy, and. Just that kind of thing. Comedy and writing is what I'd say. I, my dream gig ever is to be able to write for like Saturday Night Live or just to be hired to write for a comedy show. But I feel like it'd be way more cooler just to be like a writer on a comedy. I'm not like in front of the screen kind of guy. I'm not like an actor type. I feel like I'd just be like, I'd like to be like co-writer. Like, uh, like with Seinfeld, Jerry Seinfeld was on the screen, but Larry David was the guy that was writing all the actual funny shit. That kind of thing. Right now I'm in school trying to get my degree. I'm probably going to stay here until I finish school. So that's within that five year time frame more or less where it's like I graduate and then I get a little career and then I, I grow a little bit. Right now I'm in the stage where I just want to get as good as I possibly can here before I even think of moving. I typically would like to be like become a headliner here and if I become a headliner then I'll be like, all right, I'm a headliner. I've been doing it for five years, or seven years, because from now it'd be seven years plus the two before. So then like in seven years, I'd be like, well, now I'm a headliner in Florida. This is cool. I've got a decent job. I'm making all right money. It's time to move out and start from the bottom again at a city, probably like Atlanta or Chicago or New York, or maybe even California, somewhere on the East Coast, or West Coast. California's on the West Coast of the States, where it's a little more on. guy and he was just being himself totally 100% and there's no stick and he said things that are, I would like to be it was like hey you said some things that are like, kind of offensive but I found them still funny kind of thing I like to be a, I like them to take away from it there's just like a conversation amongst people as opposed to here I am and I'm doing a gimmick stick and whatever here's my fucking uh, melon and this smash it's or something so, no, I'd rather people just be like that was a guy I can just walk up to afterwards cool guy I want people to be like, that guy was super rad. That's what I want. My name is Fritz Pierre. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, I'm on Instagram, but I mostly use Instagram to follow uh, half-naked women. So that's all I use Instagram for. I'm on Twitter, but I use Twitter to follow porn stars. So if that's, uh, if you're interested in no, I'll retweet some hot porn stuff if that's what you're into. You can follow me on Fritz Pier 92 on Twitter. Hello, my name is Fritz Pierre. Um, check out this interview on cutiepie.com. Great content, awesome website. And I'm holding a beer with my finger like this. So please come to that website. It's awesome.